Assalamu alaikum guys how are you i hope you're doing good and welcome to another video so in this video i will show you a full review of the mi rom port rom for our redmi 5 which is the mi ui 11 and its version is 9.11.14 uh, beta version and it is based on the android pi so we will we will talk about the bugs and the stability of this rom So without any further ado let's get started let's review the rom First of all let's talk about the bugs and stability of this rom there are some bugs like the reading mode is not working in this rom and uh, on the every boot it will show you a pop up of sim cards and it will also change the wallpaper to siberia wallpaper on every boot so the overall performance and uh, and the gaming performance of this rom is really laggy so that's why this rom is not uh, recommended for daily usage the performance of this rom is just average and stability is also just average and one thing more uh, and that the corners of apps high opening any app are really awkward as you can see here so when we are opening and uh, closing the apps the corners looks really awkward so because this rom is based on the miui 11 that's why uh, the ui looks pretty much good and cool now let's dig into the settings in the settings first of all we have the search bar then we have the mi account about phone in the about phone you can check your miui version which is the miui 11 mi rom 9.11.14 beta version and its android version is android pi as you can see here and its security patch is 5 november 2019 so after we have this sim card uh, bluetooth and wifi connectivity and uh, sharing then we have the always on display always on display is not working in this rom after it we have some sleep options and double tap on uh, lock screen to turn off the screen and this type of settings then we have some gestures like wallpaper console and uh, on the info and then you can also adjust the clock style from the lock screen then we have the camera gesture and pocket detection in the display we have the brightness level at the top maximum brightness for on calls then the reading mode which is not working after it we have the color scheme and uh, the color schemes are also not working then we have the dark mode which is working fine you can also schedule the dark mode to automatically turn it on and turn it off Then we have the system font. Use MIUI fonts, and then you can change uh, the system fonts. After it, we can change the icon size. Uh, sorry, text size. I always uses the extra small. So after it, we have the status bar. and the full screen mode for the applications and then we have the auto rotation after it we have the sound and vibration uh, as everyone know the mi ui roms have the best sounds than the custom roms and uh, that's why the sound quality of this rom is pretty good 
and in this sound and vibration we have some sound settings like uh, also vibrate for cars and uh, earphone settings and vibration on touch and uh, this type of settings and you can also manage your notification sound and ringtone sound after it we have the notifications from here you can manage your uh, lock screen notifications floating notifications and notification on badges after it we have the home screen from the home screen you can change your launcher uh, you can also change the home screen mode to regular or with app drawer so after it we have the app violet and app drawer swipe up on home screen and this type of settings you can also change the size of icons after it we have the wallpapers here we have uh, some video wallpapers which looks pretty good as you can see here and we also have some basic wallpaper from the MIUI 11 which looks good and uh, after it we have the op themes pre-installed we have four themes first one is the classic then we have the MIUI 10 radium and the limitless you can also add by clicking on the download more button and in the uh, security and privacy uh, the fingerprint is working fine and you can also add your face unlock which is also working fine as you can see here it is detecting the face unlock and unlocking the device quickly after it we have the battery and performance the battery performance of this room is just average it is not so good and not so bad so after it we have the apps from here you can manage the system apps manage apps and dual apps and permission and lock app lock then in the additional settings we have date and time full screen display and uh, languages and input button shortcuts quick ball one handed mode well pro option accessibilities and this type of settings then we have the screen time which is uh, like the di digital well-being of MIUI 11 then we have the special features in the special features we have the gaming turbo quick reply and then we have the google and some more settings so the overall performance of this room is not so good and you can also create dual apps of any social media app so uh, this room is not recommended for daily users but you can try this room if you want to take a look on this so to install this rom download the rom and google play services from the link in the description and then re reboot your device into any installed custom recovery the preferred recovery is twrb recovery because it is easy to use you can boot your uh, device into recovery by pressing and holding the power and uh, volume up button After booting into the recovery, go to wipe, advanced wipe and wipe everything except the internal storage and SD card. Now go to install and locate your downloaded from. You can see here me rom pi from jammy. Just flash the rom. It will take a little bit time like 3 to 5 minutes. After uh, completing the installation just click on the reboot system and uh, after a little bit time the ROM will be booted. It can also give you a boot loop if uh, it shows a black screen after the me logo then just re uh, reboot into the recovery and reflash the rom without wiping and then this rom will be booted so if you like this video hit the like button don't forget to subscribe my channel keep supporting peace